India and China enhance their sea combat capabilities. As India aims to induct two new conventional submarines this year that is being called as the year of submarines with Navy inducting two new diesel-electric submarines within. This year, after a long gap of over 17 years, China too is building two aircraft carriers. Before 2017, as part of plan to infiltrate Indian Ocean, China's Kyanzin.com quoted a Russian military industry news website as saying that in early October, the Chinese shipyard at Chingxing Island installed radar, electronic system and weapons on the aircraft carrier it is making. The ship is scheduled to be launched before 2017, according to China's plan to produce two China-made 48,000 to 64,000 ton conventional carriers. From 2017 to 2020, China will build two nuclear aircraft carriers of 93,000 ton grade for protection of its trade lifelines on the ocean. According to the report, the electromagnetic catapult on China's nuclear aircraft carrier will be more than 100 meters long. It will use a straight linear induction motor supported by complicated power supply and command systems. Its vital part is a highly efficient energy storage device able to store 120 megajoules energy needed in ejecting an aircraft within 45 seconds. The device on the carrier can store a maximum of 140 megajoules. Its power supply needs 3.1 megawatts for charging. The device, therefore, it must have power not exceeding 4 megawatts. The carrier needs 60 megawatts of electricity for its engines, for catapults and other systems. China has to vigorously develop its navy in order to protect its trade lifelines far away from its coast. Development of the Navy now costs about one-third of China's military budget, but there will be further increases through cutting the funds for its shrinking army. The Russian media believes that in order to protect China's trade lifelines, especially the supply of oil from the Middle East, China has begun to infiltrate the Indian Ocean. Not long ago the Pakistani defense minister announced Pakistan's hope that China will set up a naval base at its water port that China has been helping it build. China has taken an active part in Sri Lanka's commercial projects at Hambantota port. Another potential base will be at Sit port, Myanmar. The Chinese Navy has been intensifying its activities in the Indian Ocean. In March 2011, two Chinese warships visited Abu Dhabi. On its part, Indian Navy's Scorpion class submarine, INS Calvary, is set for commissioning. In May to June after finishing its trials, the force hopes the second one INS Kandari will also be ready by year end.